What's up everyone? I kind of just wanted to hop on here and talk about a knife that's been in my pocket pretty consecutively since I got it about two weeks ago. So this will just be my general first impressions of it, but without further ado, this is the Vision R produced by We Knives and designed by Designer Snacks. So it has a super lock on the spine here, super lock mechanism, a lot of people are comparing it to the Demco's. I don't have a Demco, so yeah, this has been really awesome for me. It's been really fun. Um, you got a 20 CV blade, reverse Tonto. Um, you're on ceramic bearings. And um, you have this very interesting pocket clip. And I'll show some videos shortly of how it fits in both jeans and my scrub pockets. And uh, I've been carrying it to work a ton because of how well this fits in my scrub pockets. Um, it really feels like this was made for thin thin pants material like that, but it also works in jeans. And like I said, I'll show you a video of that shortly. Um, but yeah, you have your bead blasted blade. You have blue anodizing. I love the blue stone washed anodizing from Wii. I think they do a really good job at that. I've also never had a knife with speed holes. So that's been interesting, but it actually is pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um, you have a spring down here, and then you pretty much, I'll show some close-ups, but you see that mechanism right there, and you have a groove right there that when it locks into place, it keeps the knife locked there. And then once you pull this lever, it releases and drops. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it because you can, you know, use the super lock, look it out, Close it, flick it open. You can uh, slow roll with your thumb. You can thumb flick. Just a bunch of, of, of different ways to use it. Um, super fidgety, super fun. And yeah, I've been carrying it to work almost every day. So yeah, let's talk about it. So I really like the sounds this knife makes as well. Just with that super lock, just really good acoustics there. Um, I posted this on my Instagram and the most common question I got after I posted it was, how's the pocket clip? As you can see, you've got your stainless steel clip here and it's just in the back. You know, and it does look kind of odd. When I first saw it, I was like, hmm, I wonder how that's gonna work. So I'm about to show you two videos, one of the knife in jeans um, and then one in my scrub pants. So just take a look at those and then we'll talk about them. in it's gonna lay flat so even though that you know it's not gonna sit like this in your pocket which I know it kind of looks like it would but once you've clipped it onto your pocket it's gonna lay flat as long as you know as long as you don't have super loose pockets it's gonna lay flat once you've clipped it in so the pocket clip really doesn't bother me the only thing is yes when you grip it you know if you're gonna cut something intense uh, if you have a really firm grip, yeah, it's going to eat into your hand. So that's kind of the downfall of the pocket clip. I think it's neat that it's different. Um, I'm always up to try a new and different unique design. But yes, it is a hot spot. So kind of a bummer, but you know, just know that about it before you go and try and cut, you know, 50 yards of cardboard with it. Uh, but overall, at least it fits in the pocket, flattens out well. Um, like I said, I think it's pretty innovative, kind of neat. All right, so here is a close-up of the knife. And as I just mentioned, yes, if you're gripping really hard, you are gonna have a hot spot with that pocket clip. And then this is gonna stick out a little bit. So keep that in mind. But 
for an average EDC, I would definitely EDC this knife a lot. Um, it's definitely a keeper for my collection. I, I really enjoy how different it is. Um, and I'll read you some specs from the website. Um, 20 CV blade, they're saying 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness, flat blade grind. Um, let's see here. Yeah, super lock. Saying the weight is 3.63 ounces. And I will say, it's a very good weight. It doesn't feel too light for me. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels just right. And even with the, uh, the speed holes, they still have some weight reduction cutouts on the inside of the knife. Um, so like I said, you see that groove back there in the knife. Get that focused up. So you have your groove back there. And that's what connects with this piece right here once it's fully opened and that slides into that groove and then you've got your knife locked. Um, down here you have a spring and then when you press this out it releases that just um, drag it across there let your blade drop and then you're in the closed position. So depending on how uh, sensitive your finger is. If you do engage this lock a lot, for me personally, if I engage this lock and, you know, flick it open, flick it closed, and, you know, disengage it, my finger does get sore after a little bit because it's just, you know, you just have your edge right here. So um, I will make that point that, of course, if you engage and disengage the lock a bunch just using the super lock, uh, my finger does get sore after a little while. So, you know, just kind of depends what floats your boat. I give this knife uh, a big thumbs up. I, I really enjoy carrying this knife. I like that it's different. I love Wee Knives anodization, like I mentioned. I just think the blue looks so cool with the stone washed, um, speed holes. So yeah, overall length, you've got 7.95 and your blade length is 3.5 inches. So, capable knife. Um, with this flat grind, I have sliced a few things with it. It's very slicey. Um, mine came very sharp, so yeah. There's just a quick look at the Vision R, and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. Hope you guys have a good one.